All right, so earlier this morning, I did a video showcasing our first look at Loki, which is the July crew pack skin. So as you can see in the news feed, it literally says Loki, the God of Mischief, tricks his way into the July crew pack coming soon. And it says view item, but when you view it, it takes you to the item shop. He's not in there. And likewise, when you go to the Fortnite crew pack, it still shows last month's or actually this month's instead of Loki. However, we just got an update from the Fortnite Twitter as well as an official blog post with tons of information. So even though we can't inspect him in game yet, we have all the information about this July crew pack itself. So let's take a look. Now, of course, you already saw the trailer at the start of this video. I think that was absolutely hilarious. I was kind of hoping there'd be some shape shifting in it because I really wanted that ability in the game. But like I said in my earlier video, I think because Mystique had it and she was a battle pass skin, they're not going to give it to some item shop or Fortnite crew pack skin. Although, you know, the Fortnite crew pack is kind of similar to the battle pass in that it costs money. So it would kind of make sense. I'm still holding out hope, but no guarantees just yet. So what exactly is going to be in this July crew pack? Well, let me read this blog post to you. It says, from Asgard to the island, the God of Mischief is now joining the Fortnite crew. Inspired by Marvel Studios' The Avengers, Loki himself is the headliner of July 2021's crew pack, going live for active Fortnite crew members at approximately June 30th at 8 p.m. Eastern. And that's always the case. The new Fortnite crew pack always comes out at the item shop time. I always get comments earlier in the day, uh, it's the day to come out, why isn't the skin here yet? It's always at the release of the item shop. Then it says this pack features the Loki outfit, his classic accessory, the Loki's cape back bling, the glow stick of destiny, Loki's scepter pickaxe. Oh, and then it comes with a glider, the chariot glider, not of Asgard or any world known. And then you get also a Loki's welcoming loading screen. So I had no idea that we were getting a glider in this bundle. So let's take a closer look here. You can see that his back bling, like it said, is definitely the cape. Now, lately with capes, we've had the ability to put a secondary back bling on them. I don't know if this is going to function the same way. And what I mean by that is you put the cape on and then it actually lets you pick a secondary back bling. Obviously not another cape, but for example, I could put the Black Knight shield over the cape and you have two back blings. I don't know if this one's going to work like that, but that's how it's been lately. Now, I can't make heads or tails of what his glider is. It says it's a chariot, but if that's the case, I really don't know how it works. I can't tell where he even holds on or if he's gonna stand on top of it. I don't know, it just looks like, well, I don't even know what it looks like. I can't tell from this image. It almost looks like some kind of animal to me, but it certainly does not look like a chariot, which is what it says it is. Next, of course, we can see the skin itself, but it doesn't give us an actual in-game glance at it. So there's not much to say about that other than the horns are pretty big. And in my earlier video, I was a little concerned that they would be obstructive when you aim down sights, but hopefully that's not the case. It doesn't look like we get a secondary style though. So I was kind of hoping we could remove those if we wanted, but it doesn't appear to be the case. And then we've got Loki's scepter pickaxe. That's pretty cool. That looks like a spot on replica from the movies and the comics. I like that. Hopefully it has a good splash and contrail. And lastly, of course, you get the 1000 V-Bucks and the battle pass if you don't already have it. But then there's a loading screen. So here's a close up of the loading screen. This is very oddly drawn. I do enjoy it though. It's a unique style. You can see Loki's trying to charm his way into all these characters' hearts. You can see the June crew skin up there flying high above. Some kind of Jonesy on the left. Is that Sky in the background? If that is Sky, that's a style I've never seen before. I don't know if that means we're getting another Sky character, but long time no see Sky. I love Sky. She's one of my favorite characters. And then I think we've got the knee of a bright bomber right there. I can't really tell. And is that Peely's knee on the other side of that? I don't know. Well, anyway, Loki looks uniquely drawn, to say the least. So that's a pretty cool loading screen. And it says, your savior is here. So there we go. Those are the details of the upcoming Loki July crew pack. Like I said, no secondary style, it appears. And no reference to shape-shifting like Mystique. But we do get a pickaxe, a back bling, and a glider. I wasn't expecting that glider, so that's cool. And when we can see it in game via the Fortnite Crew tab, I will do another video showcasing that. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.